Previously on The Potentialists. The Capitol was really awesome. We got to see the rotunda. It was really detailed. Beautiful, gorgeous. A lot of statues. The Botanical Garden was amazing. I definitely feel like I'm in Jurassic yeah, Park. Yeah. I look like some ridiculous time traveler. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. So this was a normal day at Boa World. And recently I was sitting making a bunch of calls because I'm the sales director here for Boa. I stood up and went to stretch and something kind of went awry. I walk into the studio and I find Serge on the floor. <laughs> Hi. I was uh, doing squats the other day and I think uh, I strained or moved a little bit of a this out of the place and it's happened before and some excruciating pain down my left leg. You sure you're not napping on the job, man? I've seen you <laughs> I, I've seen you coming here with a pillow before, man. <laughs> and he usually fixes it with a little bit of stretching. So he showed me what he called the cockroach. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh. this time, uh uh, didn't work. My mother has scoliosis and a little bit of stenosis and it got to a point where if she didn't operate she was not going to have a good quality of life anymore. Went with her to see the surgeon to get the details the day before the surgery. In between each vertebra there is a cushion, that's the disc. And behind that there is a tube. In that tube is your spinal cord and each one of these holes a nerve comes out. She has scoliosis so her back is twisted like this. Mm -hmm. What we're planning to do is now to try to straighten her up. So we need to put screws in the spine back here and two rods that the screw holds on and hold this steady. And the next day, Susie comes in and Serge stays in the car. So I just heard that Serge is not doing so well. Dude! I find him in the fetal position. I'm not going to be out of touch. I'm going to be on home working on the phone. Right. can't move. So then he was off to the chiropractor. The pain got so incredibly bad that I couldn't even stand up, couldn't even walk. Pick your legs up, you tell me if there's going to be any discomfort. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. They really couldn't do anything for me because the swelling was so bad. I had a compressed disc. He was hurting really badly. I have, seems like I have a herniated disc. I didn't even want to get the chiropractor to do anything to me. It really messes up my day. I'm super pissed off this happened. I'm going to go work from home, lying down. world doesn't stop just because I can't walk. So for all of you out there, don't ever give up. Don't ever quit. When you go into surgery, which I've had many, it's pretty scary. The scary part is not dying. The scary part is waking up and figuring out that something's not functioning like it should. Not because I'm scared, yes. but because of the risk of infection and you know the healing and all that. An infection, we treat it with antibiotics, we clean it if we need to clean it. I mean, it's not a big deal. Well, now that you spoke to the doctor, how do you feel? I don't know. I can't explain it because I thought he was going to do my whole back and I find now it's not my whole back. In a way, and I'm happy because he said the cervical part is not that bad. So I don't have to worry right now about it. I always grew up so strong and strong-willed and strong-minded that at the end of the day, I really didn't believe so much about supporting when someone gets hurt or anything like that. It's like, you know, they'll be strong enough and get back on their feet. However, after my tough year last year where I lost my mom, I now look at life a little different. If you have the time and you go out of your way for two or three minutes, as simple as that may sound, maybe even five minutes, it will change that person's life. A lot of times that's all they need to make sure that you're there to support them. Yo, how you doing? Check this out. It's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out. If you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?